Hi there, I'm Kate Mosier. My pronouns are she and her. And welcome to another video in the No Knees Please series. And this is Seated Chair Flow Fun. So for this class, we will do, be doing the entire class from our chair seated in the chair. So we won't be getting up and moving around the chair. Just so you know what we're about to do. I like to set the expectations so that everybody's clear on what's to come. So find yourself a comfortable, sturdy chair. I've actually put my chair on my yoga mat. It helps for me to not slip around. Um, so I encourage you to do the same. If you are using a chair with wheels, make sure to lock the wheels before we get started. And if your chair has arms that you can move up and down, um, I recommend moving them out of the way just so that um, you're not bopping into them as we practice. But if that's not possible, no problem, we can work around it. So once you get set up, find yourself in your chair in a comfortable seat and you can find a soft gaze down at the floor or you can find your eyes closed. Whatever feels good for you this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time of day it is in your world. I've got my hands resting on the tops of my thighs. My shoulders are back and down. I'm letting the chair really support my body, really sitting into it with my booty and allowing myself to arrive. I invite you to do the same. Connecting to the floor, either with your shoes and socks or bare feet. And just noticing the way that with each exhale, you sink a little deeper into that chair. I invite you to notice your space. Perhaps if your eyes are open, you can notice your space visually. If your eyes are closed, you can notice it through sound or smell or sensation. Just gather that up. I invite you to bring your attention into your physical body. Notice any place in your body that is calling out to you for attention. Maybe that's an adjustment you can easily make with a little wiggle or fixing your clothes if that is a need. Maybe it's deeper than that. It's a old injury, a new one, a place that feels sore or heavy. And just notice those areas notice them and acknowledge them so that you bring them into your practice rather than try to ignore them as you practice yoga is a practice there is no end result it's a path that we walk it's a way that we move through that path perhaps floating along moving along it with wheels just moving through it in whatever way you move through your life the asana practice the physical practice of yoga is one part of a bigger whole and i'm so glad to share that with you today I invite you to take three deep breaths and with each in Exhale, blow that breath out of your mouth with a sound or a sigh. are closed I invite you to blink them open now if you find that soft gaze I invite you to come back to the screen and we can begin our practice we're going to begin in our mountain pose our tadasana 
So with your feet firmly planted on the floor, perhaps you wanna lift up all of your toes and place them back down really to add that gripping sensation. You can bring your arms out to the sides, palms facing forward or towards your body. Shoulders back and down, letting that heart center shine forward. Your head is tall, crown of your head is facing up towards the top of your space. You can find a focal point down on your floor, something that isn't moving, something that is still. The word for focal point as I understand it in Sanskrit is drishti. So a place that you can rest your eyes so that your mind can be focused. I invite you to imagine a mountain, maybe the Appalachian Mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains, maybe the Rockies, maybe the Himalayas, the Andes, wherever you go in your mind when you hear the word mountain. I invite you to see if you can embody some of the traits of that image. Perhaps it's tall and sharp and pronounced like a rocky mountain. Perhaps it's softer, a little more subtle, like a, the Appalachian Mountains. Perhaps it's the biggest mountain in the world and you're just taking up that space with yourself right now. Feel what it feels like in your body to practice this embodiment, this embodiment of this image of something that is familiar to so many people. Feel it in your own body right now. With your next inhale, I invite you to sweep your arms up overhead. And with each exhale, I invite you to turn your palms towards the floor and sweep them back down. You can go at your own pace here with each inhale, growing taller with your arms. With each exhale, lowering them back down. Inhale, arms up, shoulders back and down. Exhale, palms face the floor. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, arms lower down. We'll do this three more times. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, arms all the way down. One more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Rest your hands on your thighs for a moment. Notice the sensations in your shoulders. On your next inhale, sweep those arms back up to the sky and turn your torso towards the right side of your space as you place that right hand just behind your booty, perhaps holding on to the chair. With that left hand, you can place on your torso, finding a gentle seated twist here, gazing out over that right shoulder, Noticing the sensations in the back body here. Not pushing ourselves beyond, just keeping ourselves in that place of balance between effort and ease. You're noticing the sensations, you're feeling the way this twist feels in your body, but you're not pushing it beyond to a place of pain or uncomfortableness. With your next inhale, sweep those arms back up to the sky and then turn your torso towards the left side of your space, sweeping those arms, left hand behind on the chair, right hand on your torso. Another option would be to bring your right hand up to your shoulder and find that twist towards the left side. Gaze is our guide, so follow your eyes with your body and breathe. Noticing where you feel this, noticing where you don't feel it, keeping those feet planted into the floor. And then on your next inhale, sweep those arms back up to the sky, 
palms come forward, exhale, lower, down. Lovely. I'm going to move into our cat and cow flow here. You can keep your hands right here on your thighs. We're going to sit up tall, shoulders are back and down. We're going to move into our cat first. So as we begin, we slide our hands towards our knees, tucking our chin and rounding our shoulders and spine forward. Moving into our cow, now pulling our hands towards our hips, pressing our chest out, opening our throat, our gaze comes up to the ceiling. Coming back into that cat, rounded spine, tucking those, your chin, hands come forward. Chest comes out, throat opens, gaze lifts for cow. Go at your own speed here. I'm gonna stay with this for five rounds of breath, whatever that looks like or means to you. This is a gentle movement to bring some synovial fluid to our spine to bring some gentle movement to our torso to invite ourselves into that dance of yoga and movement And then next time you are through center, pause here and keep your hands on your thighs or perhaps you'd like to bring them to your hips for this. We're gonna be doing some torso circles. We're gonna start going to the right and you can bring your chest forward and around, chest forward and around. These can be big, they can be small. We're just bringing some movement to our bodies. And the next time you are through center, pause here and switch directions. My chair is talking to me. Is yours talking to you? <laughs> Come back to center and pause. Lovely. And bring those hands down. We're going to do some knee lifts here. So we're going to start on our right leg. I'm going to lift my knee up. I'm going to flex my foot. I'm going to bring my hands around the bottom of my thigh. I'm going to just pause here and just notice the sensations. You may want to give your ankle a little rotation here if that feels good. And then lower that leg back down and come over to the left leg now, lifting that knee up, grabbing behind my thigh, flexing my foot. If this isn't your favorite or it's not something you want to do this morning or afternoon or evening, you can come up on your toes and just grab towards your thigh. That's also an option. I'm going to come back and do that once again on both sides. So bring those hands to the thigh wherever you feel comfortable, lifting that knee up or coming up on those toes. Let it all go. Come on over to the left side, come up on the toes or lift the knee, hands on the thigh and breathe. back down. We're going to extend our right leg long, flexing the foot. I'm going to turn my torso towards that left, that right leg, excuse me. And if you like, you can stay right here. You can add more sensation by beginning to lower that torso towards that right thigh. Whatever feels good in your body. You don't have to do what the instructor is doing. I am a guide. Just offer ideas and you can decide what works for you. 
Come on back up. Extend that left leg out. Sitting up tall, turning towards that left thigh and sliding forward if you'd like more sensation. If not, you can stay up tall and just add that flex of the foot. Come on back up, lovely. Okay, we're gonna move into um, a bit of a flow here in our chair. If you need to grab some water or just need to pause the video for a moment, now's a great time to do that. And I'll meet you back in the chair in a moment. And if you're ready, we'll get started with our flow. So sitting up tall in our chair, shoulders back and down. I'm going to sweep our arms up as we inhale. And here I'm going to heel toe my feet out a little bit wider because I'm going to come into a forward, seated forward fold and I need a little bit more room between my legs to do that. So come on and fold forward. You may not get all the way to the floor. I've got a pretty high chair here. So I'm just going to come down as low as you can. You could also put blocks in front of you to bring that floor up a little bit more to you. And let your head hang heavy and breathe. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back, gaze lifts. Exhale, fold down. Head hanging heavy here, pressing into those feet, inhaling with the arms, coming about halfway up chest comes forward finding ourselves in our seated chair find that breath and on your next exhale come on and fold all the way back down head hangs heavy here on your next inhale go ahead and come all the way up find that chair once again if having your arms out is not your favorite your hands can come to hips, prayer at heart center. Keep them on your thighs, whatever feels good. Beautiful. Exhale if your hands are extended, bring your hands to your hips. Heel toe those feet out a little bit wider, sending those feet out to opposite sides of your space. Squatting into your chair, you're still using your chair to support your body fully. Hands are on the hips, shoulders back and down, chest forward, finding your seated squat here and breathe. <sighs> Lovely. Heel toe your feet back to where they were for that chair and forward fold. Feet come forward. Inhale, arms extend long, chest forward, finding that seated chair once again. And then exhale all the way down to your forward fold. Head hangs heavy. And then pressing into your feet, sweeping your hands all the way up to the sky. Palms come together. Exhale, heart center. Finding that mountain pose once again. Notice the sensations in your body. Notice what's feeling good, what's feeling hard, what you're trying to ignore. No judgment. It's just an understanding and deepening of our relationship with ourselves when we pay attention. We're gonna go through that flow again. Inhale, arms come all the way up to the sky, gaze lifts. Palms come forward as we fold into our forward fold. Head hangs heavy. Hands to shins below the knees, flat back, gaze lifts. Exhale, fold back down, head hangs heavy. Inhale, press into your feet, extend the arms long, come about halfway up and find your seated chair. You may like to bring your hands to hips here or extend them long once again. Exhale, fold forward, head hangs heavy. Inhale, 
Hands to shins, half lift. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, arms come out long, halfway up to your seated chair. And then heel toe your feet out wider, bring those hands to hips, toes to opposite corners, sitting a little deeper into your booty. Maybe your booty's on the edge of the chair here, maybe not. Finding your seated squat. Pressing into those feet really helps to activate our legs, increase the sensation there. So that's not your favorite, you don't have to press into your feet. Inhale, arms up. Heel toe your feet back to where they were for your chair and forward fold. Exhale, come all the way down to your forward fold once again. Inhale, half lift, gaze forward. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, press into your feet, sweep your arms all the way back up. Palms come together. Exhale, heart center. Lovely. And bring your hands back to your thighs. Find that breath. Pause. Gather up. You can heel toe your feet a little closer together and find your mountain pose once again. You can find that soft gaze down at the floor. You can close your eyes here. I invite you to notice and when you're ready you can bring your hands to prayer over your heart at heart center and keep them on your thighs if you like and I'll close our time together with these words I honor the place in you where your humanity dwells, the place that is filled with love, truth, peace, justice, equity, joy, and community. When I am in that place in me and you are in that place in you, together we are connected at Heart Center. Thanks for choosing this as your practice today, and I will see you again next time, friend. Bye.